Hello and welcome to Sectors Up Close. I'm Ramzan Karamali. Today we're going to examine European telecom stocks with Chris Beecham, Chief Market Analyst at IG. The Stock 600 Telecommunications Index, with its 19 constituents, has underperformed, down just under 2% over the past year. But look under the hood, and that masks huge disparity. France's Orange, for example, is up over 13%. Deutsche Telekom and Telefonica also outperformed. While at the bottom of the pile are the UK's BT Group and Vodafone, down 17 and 25% respectively. So what are the factors affecting prices going forward? Well, let's ask IG's Chris Beach. And Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Well, there's a lot of factors at play here, but let's look at the macroeconomic picture here. Inflation really is hurting profits at the telecom giants. It really is, although maybe there is some light at the end of the tunnel, perhaps inflation certainly coming back down to where central banks would like it to be, although certainly not as quickly as consumers would like, really. But that has meant that some of the pressure on margins has eased to an extent. Maybe you can talk about a more positive outlook for spending. And while you've still got concerns about the amount of infrastructure spending the, the firms have to carry out, there is at least that, that sign that maybe things will get better after the tough times of the past 18 months. Well, given the saturation in, in this market space, is there any really room for organic growth or are they just going to be cannibalising off each other's profits here? This is the hard thing, really. We're not seeing, of course, the kind of economic or population growth as well in Europe that you might get to drive the kind of upside. So absent any kind of big merger with these big sort of flagship national firms, it's unlikely, I think, that given the size of all the competition concerns, then I think you are just seeing them competing around the edges on margins, uh, most obviously. And that does have a problem for sort of building a long-term bull case. Well, let's talk about risk against reward here. Telefonica, massive dividend, 12% dividend. Should that ring alarm bells for investors that they can give out such a big dividend? I think it certainly should sort of flash a yellow warning sign, if nothing else. When you're dividend investing, of course, you don't want to just go for the, for the biggest numbers because that does carry the risk. Now, there's no sign that anyone started to think about cutting dividends in the sector yet. But certainly when one goes, others tend to follow. So I think investors who've raced in just to get that yield, and you can't blame them in some senses, um, will find themselves perhaps at risk of a big drop in share prices um, once those dividend yields start to be cut. Well, I mentioned Vodafone in the introduction there. Not a very good performance over the past year in its share price for sure. But is there any light at the end of the tunnel there? You know, ridden with debt, uh, they're still trying to merge uh, businesses in Italy. Is there anything, any hope for investors here? Well, these things might get better. I think as we were saying at the beginning, with the outlook now improving, if you look at the debt pile, yes, it's not going away. And that's partly why the shares have done so badly, because it's such an indebted company. But with perhaps interest payments starting to come down over the next few years, then that will um, relieve quite a bit of pressure on the group. And there's always the hope that Vodafone would go back to paying a dividend as well. It's a very popular stock amongst retail investors generally. I think on the expectation that we'll go back to being something like it was in years past. That seems quite distant at this stage, but certainly the expectation is after such a big down year, maybe things will turn around. It's also a UK focus thing. BT down heavily. UK stocks were just unloved last year. Maybe there's now hope that we can see the FTSE 100 as a whole start to move back towards 8,000. And within the sector, are there any any ones that any stocks that you particularly like and ones that you think I'm going to stay away from at the moment? Well, I think when you're looking at the continental ones with orange, maybe a better performance on that front, really. So maybe that one has more solid financials, really less of a concern about the outlook. But it doesn't look great at the moment for the sector as a whole, but perhaps that one is the one to look at. Chris Beecham from IG, many thanks for your thoughts. And that is your roundup of the sector. I'm Ramzan Karamali, and this is Reuters.